looked at that. I should check out that company, huh? Auto Transport Event and Logistics. S1G.com. So, uh, you're driving the company truck here, huh? Yes, sir. Peter built with, tell me it's a manual. It's an yep. automatic. No, happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> you got a nice load in there? Anything you can show me or nothing right now? What do you usually do? Like shows or we do car? Show, we do shows, we do commercial shoots, photos. Huh. Commercial shoots, photos? That's kind of cool. Tell me about that. I really can't talk about that oh, much. Exclusive stuff, yeah. huh? How many rigs do they have? About 30. About 30. All doing same same stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh do you got a shower in there? Yep. You do. Can you show me at all? Yeah, you, you don't mind? Let me finish. My sure, finish sure. Um, so yeah, it's got a, okay. It's I think okay. I seen one of these trucks fueling up and then in here he's got a water um, fill, right? Well, uh, this is actually the bathroom. The this bathroom. Is, this is where we Okay, the cassette. Yeah. It's got a cassette, right? Okay. Yep, the cassette comes so, out. So, um, convenient. And then our water fill up is right here. Okay. Water tank. Oh. Yeah. With the water hose Sweet. for us to fill. How many gallons is that? Do you know? About 30. 30 gallons. I get about three, four showers out of it. Three, four showers. Okay. And you got a nose cone. And so, so you got, you could put two SUVs in this, right? I'm guessing like four. in the mid four. Okay. If you do only SUVs, right? Yeah. Four SUVs, four, six cars. Six cars. And two of those six can be SUVs, right? If, yeah. if you put one on the top and bottom. So, you know, I'm a little bit familiar with the trailer. Um, the ones with a belly like this are better. You got 19.5 wheels on there? Yep, 19.5s. Okay, do you, do you keep speed limit with those wheels? Yep. Yeah, 68. 60, or, about 68. Yeah, if it's raining, then back you could down, go fast. Uh, back oh. No, I, I usually run about 60. 60 you you run about 60, because they get 60, hot, 68. huh? 68. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So oh, yeah, I have a shower, a bathroom, fridge. So I hauled a prototype Mercedes ML once, which was like uh, keep it on the down low, like that kind of stuff could be in this trailer, huh? Possibly. Possibly. So uh, how many miles on this thing? Four hundred eighty, huh? Four hundred eighty-two. Yep. Sorry, the truck's a little messy right now. It's a work truck. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Wow. Whoops, there goes my microphone. I just bought this microphone. Damn, huh? So, so I'm in the sleeper here. This is what we do, we drivers. We meet each other at truck stop. Yep. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> so this thing, this fridge is bigger than the one in most homes, huh? Yeah. And look at that, huh? Roof AC. Enough, co enough cabinets to uh, do whatever thing. Yep. Well, I got to see the toilet. That's the most important thing, right? There it is, the shower, toilet. Like that, huh? Could you turn it on now? Let's see some water go. You flip a switch. There it goes. You left it on, buddy. Uh, wow, and look how tall it is. Yeah. Uh, perfect for a tall guy like me. Yeah. I think I want a job here today. And a giant mirror? Yep. Wow, look at that. Sweet. So, automatic. Um... Yeah, I'll think I'll, I think I'll down pay, d take a little pay uh, cut to to be in this thing. Well, you actually work your way up. You start in you a regular your, size oh, truck. Oh, okay, okay. And yeah, they just don't start you oh, out you, in, in a big truck. Of course. I'm dreaming big. And the TV like that, huh? Yep, sound bar. Whoa. Well, great. Um, and yeah. The, the, bed folds, uh, the bed folds up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, just like that. Better than in the Volvo. Yeah, if you thought the Volvo was cool, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Wow, thanks for showing me that. I really uh, I really wanted to see that. You got a business card or something? Or otherwise, it's just the website there it's on the side? The, it, it's just the website. Um, I, I'm out of the card. And right you got now. the Elite Pass. That's what I need to get because my office keeps paying the tickets too late. They're like three hundred dollars each month oh, wow. because they pay all the the late fee, the admin fees. I was like, don't pay the admin fees. 
just send them the check with the basic toll. Yeah. It's not my problem. Yeah, this is uh, the Bolt that, 120. But 120 length? 120, 120 inch length. And then, uh, do you have any problems with the, um, the cornering? A little bit. A little bit of a challenge? You've got to swing just um, a little bit more. Because some downtown events, convention center type stuff, huh? Convention centers. But yeah. never residential stuff, usually? We, we do uh, POVs every once in a while, personal operated vehicles. Mm -hmm. Okay. But usually, um, they know what type of trucks we have and everything, so they so. find big parking lots for us to meet them in. Now, um, okay, so that's uh, that's not a real big issue, right? The turning radius, yeah, it's no. kind of. But most of the time, you get enough sleep. Not no like four, four two o'clock appointments in the morning, no. like reefers. Like no, most of our I'm appointments doing. are. About Everyone's eight waiting in the for you, and your yeah the, your our most of our almost all of our stuff is normal business hours eight to eight to five so what's behind uh these doors these are just access panels to throw a strap on yeah um so that makes it convenient that way you don't have to squeeze through yeah um uh, sometimes a clay car you know maybe right some of the re uh, reliable trucks they have the reefers those are those because are for, those. for that kind of stuff huh yeah, see, I got into in close car hauling. I just wanted to touch another guy's Ferrari and stuff. Now, like, the world is expanding, you know, the industry. I don't know, like, yeah. just mainly exclusive show stuff, huh? Yep. Um, we do, we do uh, shows. We do transports for manufacturers. And, and the Kentucky trailers, right? Yep. That's a Kentucky. Yeah, this um, is a 2019. 2019. Kentucky trailer. Uh, it's self-contained, right? Or, or you uh, got no, a I got juice? a PTO on board. Oh, okay. You just don't. I don't think my line's hooked up. I see. You hook them up when you're using it, and yep. then disconnect them. Because yeah, it could be bad for the turns, huh? Yep. That way you can turn as sharp yep. as you want. I got it. That's why you got it on. Huh? Um, so, what kind of uh, other advantages are to work with them? They're called S1G. Yeah, select, select one group. Select one group. What, what what could you recommend? What do you like about them? I just they treat you. They know you by name. They don't know you by truck number. Mm -hmm. They work. They get you home when you want to get home. And uh, where are they out of? They're out of uh, Troy, Michigan. Troy, Michigan. Okay, so Motor City area, kind of. Yep. I live uh, in Kansas. How long are you out on the road? I I usually stay out six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks on the. But it's up to you how long you yep. go, right? Yeah. Um, they they for free out about four weeks, four uh, to five weeks. Man, that's an awesome sleeper. Just to work your. How long did it take you to work up to that kind? It of took cap? me oh, about a year and a half. A year and a half. And what did you drive before that? Uh, I started out in a regular uh, T700 Kenworth, and okay. then I went to a 97 inch sleeper. Just a regular T700 Kenworth. Yep. You know, which is better than Fright Shaker. Yeah, and then I worked or, or up to a 97-inch uh, Kenworth sleeper, and then I went up to the 120. So, uh, what other incentives do you know that they may offer, or maybe not? I don't know, or advantages. Why would someone go to them? Like I said before, they mainly, you know, they treat you as a person instead of a number. They don't. There's no forced dispatching. They work with you to get you home, and it, it's just a great company to work for. So um, they have owner operator programs. Yes, they do. You bring your own rig, or they have an opportunity to buy a rig. They have they have a lease option, uh, lease purchase program. On they have a couple. I believe one of the one twenties is up for lease purchase right now. Okay, are you interested in doing that at all? No, nah, I'm, like I'm, I'm happy being a company driver. Yes. And then uh, they do have. You can bring your own truck. They do have the lease option purchase program also would they consider an old volvo like mine <laughs> it, pulling a trailer like this something nice possibly it you know it's okay it's their so discretion to, maybe a paint job because i know i talked to some of the McAllister McAllister guys mm -hmm. they said yeah if you repaint it to our colors um or they they, they might have you it. they may just have you uh do a wrap a white wrap okay. on it yeah i mean i am I wouldn't mind selling it too. You know, I'm pretty flexible. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Well, I wish you could tell us more and show us some pictures, but there are, it's exclusive I, there are no stuff. Pictures. Huh? No pictures. Nothing. Huh? This is 
Uh, so you'd say this is probably the top of the line car hauling, like you're in the top 10 companies as far as exclusive yes. stuff, right? Yep. Now, w w so it's you guys, uh, reliable, reliable passport, pi pilot. Passport, pilot, horseless carriage. Horseless carriage. Um, what else is up there? What are the differences between you and reliable and those guys? Not really much. Not really much. We pretty much haul all the same stuff. It just... Just no photos. No photos. Bad for a guy like me that likes to YouTube. And, yep, we'll no, have no to, YouTube. We'll have to... <laughs> no videos, no pictures. Can't talk about pretty much it, you know. I can give yeah. you all the information I can give you. Yeah. Yeah, it's... um. You know, I started with the Dodge Ram in a two-car enclosed trailer like 10 years ago. And... Uh, my mind was blown and some stuff was kind of exclusive but then yeah this is probably the top then huh yep. this is this is what um, do, are you ever like like how about security you know like I I went I made it to a couple shows every every once in a while you'll hear someone's pickup truck with a trailer got stolen while they went in for a burger on the way to like Barrett Jackson or something mm -hmm. like uh, you guys have systems here so that yep. would never happen huh? Yeah. trucks are GPS trailers are GPS and half the time 90% of the time I'm in my truck or I'm right with my truck I yeah the only time I get out leave the truck is to get fuel but it's always under lock and key yeah I cook on the truck as you can see yeah. Sleeper. So you usually you got like a million dollars in the trailer, huh? Sometimes more, or it just depends on the it load. Just depends. When I drove six car liftgate, it was you know always a couple cars that are like three, four hundred thousand dollars, and sometimes up to a million. Or, I don't even but, guess at the estimate. I just load them and go. But fun stuff, you could say. You could say it's, a, it's, it's fun stuff. A, a car guy's dream come true. Yeah. That's what I'm trying there to ask. Go. Yeah, it is. You'll, it is. You'll see things that it's, you it's thought you'd it. only see That's why you're magazines. doing it, right? That's why you're doing it. Because you're a car guy. Yeah. Because, I mean, you could you could drive a drive and make that kind of money, right? Yeah. You could drive reefer. But it's more of what things that you think you'd never see in real life. Like stuff that you'll see in like magazines and I think I want to try that. You know, I, I may try it just for just for a year, just to have fun. Uh, because that's what car hauling's all about. Yeah, it is, and the best way I can describe the, the trailer is it's a big giant game of Tetris, like the old yeah. Game Boy Tetris game. That's what it is like in the trailer, trying to get everything to fit in the trailer. Have you had problems where you couldn't take something because nope. you were like, "Oh man"? No, it's but been it's been pretty tight. Tight, but uh, we've I've but been you, able to get everything. But you know, in. you could always call an, someone else that That's has more experience, experience. and say, yep. "Hey, this is my situation." And yep, I've done that a couple of times. I've called them and said, "Okay, I thought you know if I do it A, B, and C, they're like, okay, well, what if you take part of B and part of C, yeah, and it worked." I heard someone put five Cayennes in a trailer like this a Kentucky with a low floor hmm. I don't know how they did it but I, I, I filled out an application for um, LNR okay yeah uh, so okay well thanks for the interview and uh, I think uh, this is something I should really consider and maybe you should consider if you got some experience you should have at least two year CDL right at least four at least four they want okay and they want some car hauling experience. A little bit of call experience. Some, so I could qualify for this. Maybe you can too. So thanks again for the interview. High five. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could leak some photos to me. Maybe. Nope. I, don't, you know, I, I tried. I tried, guys. I have nothing on my phone. Nothing on his phone. Too nope. bad. Everything stays in the truck. And yeah. Uh, that's it. That's all you're going to see. Just the sleeper. Yep. Uh, Joplin 44 truck stop. Look at this Peterbilt. Oh, six stop, huh? Oh, yeah. We've all seen it. Let's go look at some parts. Look, they got Velcro. Tarps. Oh, yeah. 
How much is a tarp? It's not even listed, huh? Sixty-nine. Ten by ten. Eight by eight hundred thirty-four. Right there, tarp prices, huh? Twenty-four by sixteen. Not too much. This is what? 26 by 24. Eight foot drop. It's not bad. It's the same air horn they got at the other place. $99. I could have saved a dollar. These are really cool. You could make your own covers and nets and stuff. What's it made of? Sheepskin. $119.